Okay. Okay. Welcome, everybody. So, uh, good evening, uh, Prof. Muhammad. Good evening. And, uh, good evening, uh, Nurin. Um, so we are ah, she's on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that's good, that's good. Um, yeah, so tonight, um, as usual, our uh, Saturday regular um, session, this is actually week number 10. So we have actually yeah. done nine weeks uh, together. So that, that's really a good uh, thing. And right. now with right. the whole, uh, you know, living the new norm, I think um, this is going to be a very much a new way of how we're going to communicate. Uh, so again, my name is uh, Felicia and then, I, we are broadcasting this uh, live uh, on Zoom and also on Facebook. And uh, welcome everybody who's joining. Uh, if you're watching this, uh, great. Uh, this is actually uh, Ask the Experts uh, platform where uh, it's actually started by a group of us, um, a few uh, key members. Uh, from uh, Prof Muhammad to Coach Francis to myself uh, under PRKPP and also Fit Unit. So we talk about, discuss about mental health, we discuss about physical health, um, how to be productive. We talk about from parenting to uh, relationships, to dealing with crisis, to wellness and everything under, you know, uh, whatever is relevant to talk about as well. Especially now everybody is communicating via uh, using technology and social media, right? Yeah. Uh, so today's topic, tonight's topic is going to be uh, interesting uh, because we are uh, for KL and Slango, Putrajaya and also uh, in Sabah, uh, we are having our second, our, you know, second CMCO. So pretty much it's um, I would say it's quite uh, alarming in the sense where we you know we see the cases, uh, you know, more than eight hundred cases today, and uh, and you know there are some compared to the first time during the lockdown. I think this is the time where everybody is really living the new norm. So uh, I do hope that we are abiding by the rules, uh, keeping physical distancing, you know, um, and uh, really uh, doing our best to. You know, Stay safe. Um, I think that's very important. Uh, but uh, that being said, uh, tonight's topic is going to be how uh, to have a successful day. Um, how do we actually go, go about our day? You know, where we are living in a world and day, day of uh, uncertainty right now, uh, days of uncertainties, and also uh, whether we are, you know, we are also being afraid, but we also want to do things. How do we stop procrastinating? Maybe how do we have a uh, live in the present moment, not in the past or in the future? So, uh, Prof, over to you. Okay, thank you, Felicia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And salam sejahtera to all. Thank you for those who have joined us tonight. And I hope uh, it will be a very fruitful session tonight. So, as you know now, COVID has gone into uh, Malaysia, the second wave. And the second wave appears to be much more uh, contagious, uh, easily spread to people. And uh, now we are seeing the numbers of three digit in nature. Uh, it is today, I think, it is 800 or so uh, new cases. Uh, and when it started the second wave, it, we see that it's go beyond 200. Then it moved up to 400, then to 600, then come down a bit to 500. Uh, today we see that the total the number of new cases are 800 or so. So I guess uh, we may subsequently get into situation whereby we will go back into enhanced MCO like some of the states that they are facing right now. Uh, hopefully it does not go throughout Peninsula Malaysia or even in the East Malaysia. Sabah, Sarawak still are very free, very free in that sense. So we hope that uh, whatever it is, these challenges is still there. Uh, it's going to be there for a while, but we are, we are still going to be very successful in our own everyday endeavor. So it should not actually stop us from being successful. 
it should not stop, uh, stop us from being progressive. So I would like to share my slide now. Uh, so this is the slide that uh, I want you to... Let me see where is the slide. Mm -hmm. I got the slide here. Can you see the slides? Uh, Coach Wong is in. No. No, uh, you're not have you the shared slide, the screen? Eh? No, you haven't shared the screen. Okay, just let me share the screen. All right, let me see. Yeah. Yes, uh, I've seen your screen, your desktop. Okay. I can't see the slide uh, that is supposed to be shared. Is there any way I can do that? This is the slide. You have to open your slide. So this first. is the slide. Can you see any of it? Uh, this slide? Yeah. Can you? Yes. Okay. Uh, please make it full screen. Yeah. Yeah, I make it full screen. Uh, now you can see the slide? Yes. All right. Perfect. So this is the slide. Uh, well, this slide obviously will tell us uh, is our mind working? Uh, is our mind is like a light bulb, always, uh, you know, uh, bright? and always uh, showing that we have something in our mind, what we really want to do. Uh, these slides represent us, uh, a progressive nature person. Uh, it doesn't stop us from actually advance. It doesn't stop us from moving forward, uh, despite uh, whatever the challenges and the obstacle that we are facing around us. So obviously I think it's very important for us to take note that each and every one of us must always be thoughtful, must always be able to think what they want to do, what they want to achieve. So this slide represents that. So I would say he's a, a progressive person rather than a stationary, uh, a status quo, a person who doesn't move forward. So as you know, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, larger. So obviously we want to move forward. We have to take each step to get us to move forward. If not, we remain the same, we remain at a static place. Uh, but unfortunately, some of us may even take a step backward and that doesn't make us move forward. Yeah? So important is a uh, phrase that we need to know. And every step actually uh, counts, every step matters. Uh, that steps must not only matters in that way, but also must be correct. And it is on the right track. So obviously, if your steps is on the right track, you will reach the goal. And every step is correct, is right. It's not to be repeat again, it's wrong in that sense. If it is wrong, then you have to redo it again and redo many times and that is going to waste your time. So if your, uh, your step is right, do the right thing and do the things right. It's very important here. And be on the track so that you don't get derailed, you don't actually get out of the track. So you're going to be distracted, you're not going to be diverted, you're still you know, going to the right uh, goal with the, with the right path. As you know, uh, success means you know your goal and you also know your obstacles. So right now, uh, in our goal, there's so uh, the obstacles. This main obstacle now is COVID, but there are many other uh, hindrances and obstacles that we are facing. But one of them is uh, COVID infection, which could be very deadly, which could be very, uh, you know, uh, stressful for any one of us to face this problem. And on top of that, uh, we have to create a very positive mental picture that we can, that we, we should be able to get it done. We can achieve it. So uh, we are very positive about it. Uh, so we should clear ourselves from being doubt. We cannot actually have any doubt what we can do, how we can do it. We must be very clear. So our mind is clear. Our mind is with clarity. We are not actually having any form of uh, things that could pull us back. And Obviously, we know that every every step we take, every move moving forward, there will be challenges, and that challenges must be actually embraced uh, with a good heart, with a good thoughts. Eh? So without that, you won't be able to actually uh, overcome the challenges. And again, as I said, stay on track and show the world that you can do it. So this is the uh, mnemonic for success. All right, with what it means, uh, success has all these items as you see C E S S. It's very important if you can take note about it. 
So what does success mean? The definition is to just accomplish whatever your aim is or the purpose that you are doing things. So a simple, simple term, uh, but I would say actually, even for me, even at this age, I may actually in everyday endeavor, in everyday undertaking, I may not be very success, successful with things that I do. So there, are, there may be any, many activities that I do in a day. One may be successful, the other few may be not. So I need to reconsider myself seriously what happened, why I am not that successful in wanting to do whatever the purpose or the aim that I want to achieve. So if you can't, uh, you must actually start to ponder uh, why, what make you actually not achieving the purpose. So uh, in everyday life, we have to look at at least three aspects of our life. Most important aspect is our body health. So I would say purpose for living today is actually to avoid us uh, also from getting COVID-19 infection. That is the main thing. But on top of that, we also got non-communicable diseases. We got communicable diseases, which include many other infections. Uh, we also got this non-communicable disease, which is based on our lifestyle, our uh, nutrition, our diet and whatnot. And on top of that also, our body health, we actually, the purpose of living is to actually to complete a specific task. Maybe for me, I need to really look into seriously the exercise, uh, because my lifestyle is very, uh, how should I say, very relaxed and sedentary in nature. And also the eating habits. Uh, so that is also a very important purpose of living for the day. Right? Because uh, most important is we don't, we, if you want to achieve what is in the future, we have to make every day, every present correct. Every day, every present is a successful one. Without a successful present, you will never achieve a successful future. Right, so that is very important for all of us to take note. So, in terms of body health, that is one. In terms of psychological health, at least in a day, no anxiety, no distress, no depression, uh, no negative thoughts, and uh, we are at peace. That's why you know when we give you salam, uh, we are actually uh, praying for us all to be very peaceful, very sejahtera in that sense. So mm -hmm. that is the purpose for the living today. So there are there will be activities that we can actually do to be psychologically peaceful person. All right. Uh, one of it is uh, never to actually give emotion, uh, negative thoughts. And so if we can, we are always being a very positive person. You always say that you can get yourself whatever you want to. You have what we call a progressive or a growth mindset as compared to a static fixated mindset, which rigidity, obsessiveness can always give us the non-peaceful state of mind. And subsequently, obviously, in our self, we also cannot go away with our spiritual health. So the purpose of living every day is actually to achieve what we call a spiritually enhanced. We keep growing, we keep enhancing our spiritual being, feeling good about our present, our existence. And we know the purpose of our life on, on this current uh, living on earth. And subsequently, we know that there will be life in the hereafter. And we also want to be peaceful in the hereafter. So we need to find ways on how to actually enhance our spiritual being. And on top of that, uh, the purpose of living today is also, there will be number four, is how to actually uh, get ourselves into uh, fitting very well is with our social environment. Fitting uh, very, very well with our external environment. That's where the social uh, environment is very important because we are living in those environments. As right now, we know the social environment, which include the COVID infection, the COVID-19 infection, may actually affect people around us and these people around us directly or indirectly may affect us. So if we know, we can actually avoid from getting into a situation whereby the social environment is not uh, giving good to us, then we know how to prevent ourselves from getting into that trouble. In psychology, we call it the biopsychosocial 
and uh, spiritual uh, help. Uh, these are the four domains that each individual person need to take note and need to know what they are supposed to do. So basically, if you want to be successful, all these aspects in every day must be achieved, must actually get good result. Even though we are talking about long term, but actually most important is every day, the short term success is the one that matters. So to start with, believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, you have doubt within yourself. You wasn't so sure whether you can do it. So that's why we call it, you know, uh, this is what we call once your belief in yourself is disturbed, possibly you may not even move forward. You may actually live in the past most of the time. So believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, then that belief make it true for you. So this is a very important aspect for you to move forward. So basically, in our in ourselves, we have nine intelligences. This is so-called the multiple intelligences. The multiple intelligences can be used in many uh, aspects. Uh, one of the aspects in learning, another aspect in socializing, the other aspect in actually spiritual sense, the other aspect can be in emotion and whatnot. So as you know, nine multiple, uh, nine multiple intelligence that we have can be divided into at least uh, five intelligences, big, big group of intelligences, the intelligences number one, let me just uh, remind you what they are. Uh, it is actually intel intellectual intelligence or the IQ intelligence, they call it. So the intellect or the, usually we can see in terms of academic achievement, we can see in terms of ability actually to use the potential that you have in your IQ or the II, the intellectual intelligence eh? that include uh, all of us are very good in our verbal linguistic intelligence. We understand people, we can use language, we can talk to people, people can understand us. So that is verbal linguistic intelligence. And in fact, if uh, any one of us have more than one language that they are proficient in, they can use it very well with many communities. People, more people they can understand, they can be with more people, more community because of the language that they have. Right. On top of that, you also are good in your math logic intelligence. So actually with math logic, you are using your uh, analytical uh, brain. You are actually able to deduce uh, problems. Uh, you can solve problems. So we have been, actually teachers have been teaching you, or school have been teaching you this math logic. So that's why you can do arithmetic, then you can actually understand formula, you can apply formula, so that is math logic. They call it number smart. Uh, verbal linguistic, they call it word smart. I mean, another name for it. And the third part in their II or intellectual intelligence is what we call basically the visual spatial smartness. You're able to see things clearly and you can also see the space around it and you can see beyond what you can see. Uh, that's why in, uh, in so-called uh, verbal spiritual inter spatial intelligence the space you will see the concreteness of things and you see the abstract nature of things so that is under ii which has three intelligences subsequently under ei or the emotional intelligence that is another big group and in this big group you have two intelligences that you must use uh, to actually uh, to learn know how to bring yourself with people, uh, to know how to actually put your emotion forward. So these are under emotional intelligence. And here we have two intelligences. They call it the intrapersonal and the interpersonal intelligence or the self-smart and the people-smart. They are the name for it. Again, your potentials are there. Actually, as I said, intelligences or is that you have the potential. If you did not live up to the potential, it is there with you, but it doesn't give you a good achievement. That's why if you talk about IQ, a lot of people have a normal IQ. Whatever they are doing. Even those who is a normal IQ, sometimes they only score C or D or they fail whatever the test they are going through. 
That is because they did not use their potential to the maximum, to the optimum that they can. So it's very wasteful if you have the potential, but you did not use it. So being people smart, being self-smart, self-smart means you know who you are, you know what are your strengths, you know what are your weaknesses, you know what are your threats for yourself and uh, the people, the things around you, and you also know your opportunity. So with that, actually, you can move forward very far if you know who you are. And, you know, the, the way to look into yourself is actually uh, to do self-audit, to do self-reflection, to always improve yourself in everyday life, because without improving yourself in everyday life, you'll be the same person day in, day out, and will never get a good, better result, because you are still the same old person. And then uh, in terms of another potential that you have is what we call the people smart or the interpersonal intelligence. In people smart, there are three elements that they need to be there. Uh, so you actually can start relating with people. You can actually form relationship. Uh, you know how to actually using your verbal linguistics, your potential that you have. And obviously, obviously, all of you need to be enhanced in terms of the skill the knowledge, because without the knowledge and the skill, and then how you keep practicing it, using it, maybe you are not really getting finer or you're not getting refined better. So you need to use it again. Okay. So when you are with people, when you are people smart, you can survive with the surrounding, you can survive with the, with the people around you. That's why emotional intelligence, people smart and self-smart make you able to survive in whatever situation that you have. You don't simply go against anyone. You don't simply go against without any good reason so that uh, actually you can thrive with people around you in the situation that you are in. Then subsequently, being also people smart, beside you can relate, beside you can survive, beside people understand you, you also be able to use your emotion accordingly. So that is what emotional intelligence is all about. You know how to put your emotion to people's emotion you know how to adapt with emotions around you. So that is two intelligence, uh, your potential that you have in your so-called EQ. Then we have what we call the SQ, the spiritual intelligence. Obviously, as I said just now, we should know why we are here, what is the purpose, how existent our existence is, what is it for, and where are we heading to. So this is very important. Then we roughly actually know that life is not just static because we can actually prepare ourselves for the hereafter, which is much more life uh, long without any more, you know, uh, dead like in our earth, this, uh, in our living on earth now. Uh, once it's in the half the year after, we are actually going to be alive till eternity. Then on top of that, uh, this uh, spiritual intelligence, as I said, we have what we call the physical intelligence. I think this is the domain where Francis, Felicia, uh, the physical fitness group, uh, very, uh, how should I say, serious about we need to develop our physical nature, our body uh, to the very uh, fit uh, so that we can actually uh, handle many situations so that our body is always tough to face and feeling what we call resilient in having the uh, situation that we are in. Uh, so if we are not fit and not feeling well, obviously we are going to succumb to any form of stress and stressors. And subsequently, beside the IQ, EQ, SQ, PQ, we have another one, we call it nature intelligence. We know how to look after our environment, we know how to actually uh, maintain our environment so that it is not destroyed. And currently we know that uh, unfortunately, for you know, progress uh, of the world, economic progress and whatnot, people have actually destroyed the environment as much. And it's very it's difficult to actually get back to a very nice environment that we had like before. So we are done to the nature. Uh, our internal nature also is very important, our external nature that we are talking about now. But our internal nature also, we need to maintain our internal nature very well. Then after that, we have what we call the right brain intelligence, uh, which include the musical intelligence, the musical uh, ability, the creativity, the performance skill, the, and all the soft skills with regard to our intuition, with regard to the way we see. So these are the potential that we have. So based on that, we have already got 
three in IQ, two in EQ, one PQ, one SQ, uh, one nature smart, uh, one nature intelligent, another one is physical. So we will be a better person with actually all this potential if we actually unlock them and try to achieve as much as we can using all this intelligent in our learning, in our communication, in our so-called socialization, in our living in this, planet, in this planet. So as you know, uh, to be successful, I think Felicia and, and uh, Francis can actually uh, keep telling us to remind us that in terms of being fit physically, psychologically, and spiritually, we need to have this. We need to start somewhere. We need to actually think about what we want to achieve. So when we start, we think about it. Then we have to analyze what are the things that we need to do. And once we analyze how people be successful, how people are not, and we then do the planning. And once we have the planning, we have to try it out. Now, sometimes we have uh, more than one plan, uh, but we can take one plan at a time and uh, try it out. And when we try it, we keep doing, we keep doing again and again, we keep on doing until we achieve success. So I think this is where uh, discipline is very important. This is where uh, you make whatever that you want to, uh, you become passionate about it. This is where you know what you really want. And this is where we call it you seriously. So I think uh, it is very important for us to look into these uh, steps. So obviously, get to work, keep working, don't stop. Whatever the hindrances, whatever the uh, obstacle you are facing, right? You need to keep working. And the concept here is very important. The concept here is what we call. You may not be able to do it alone. Because uh, somehow being doing alone, maybe you are not that strong enough. You don't have the support. You actually easily tire yourself. You easily become fatigued because you're doing it alone. So obviously you need support. You need buddies. You need friends. You need groups. So always go with a group that actually give you a positive outcome, give you a positive uh, so-called support, rather than go with a group that always pull you back the group that always in negative in nature so you must know which group you are supposed to get in because once you actually go with a wrong group you never achieve success you can be successful but you're getting the wrong thing that could become very detrimental to you it is still a success but the success is not what that you want so you go into the right group and i think again and again in any of those things i mentioned just now individually it's not easy to get it done because uh, again, call our strength, our want uh, is always being uh, disturbed and distracted by some other thing. We need support. So group, buddies, friends, people of the like-minded is very important here. So there are three major, seven magical principles and key to the success. Obviously, if you say, I don't, I can't, then obviously, we won't reach the top but if you say i want to how can i do it i'll be able to go up to the reach that top level so obviously that is uh, the way to go to have a successful life so that is where at the end of the day you achieve to the goal that you want and that is what success is all about so I, I bring this uh, topic tonight because I believe that again and again, all of us are always having trouble to actually achieve something. And you know that uh, for me at the age of 60, uh, I'm still actually uh, not completed in my life. And so there are many aspects, especially the physical aspect that obviously before this was already in trouble. So that is where the, uh, you know, it is very important for me to take note. Okay then, Felicia. Uh, yeah, thanks, Prof, for your uh, good insight. I think it's really good that you started off with, you know, how we, uh, from how we need to keep uh, positive to the five uh, different intelligence that I think, uh, you know, most of us, uh, I mean, every one of us can work on it. 
because no, nobody's perfect, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it's good to work on your IQ, EQ, uh, you know, physical intelligence, intrapersonal and all these things. So, um, but I do have one question. I mean, uh, because it's quite relevant to like, when, I mean, even before the pandemic, I think uh, just our modern uh, life. Uh, when we say, you know, because you mentioned, uh, you know, don't think about the negative, stay positive. Um, but there's a lot of uh, also discussion out there right now that's saying that it's okay to feel uh, negative feelings uh, shouldn't be ignored because I think one of the things that we somehow just sweep under the carpet a lot of times uh, our emotion, whether it's a uh, positive or it's a negative one. How, but of course, we shouldn't hold on to some uh, emotion that will drag us down at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you find um, or how would you advise uh, to embrace these uh, negative feelings whatsoever? And how do we express them? Because I think we are so scared or uh, we are worried about saying things out because we are being labeled as, oh, that's a very negative person. You're not trying to be negative, but it's really what we are feeling inside, especially during the times now, right? Mm. So how do you, how would you suggest or how would you advise uh, to somebody who has these feelings, but you know, rather than keeping it inside until you explode like a volcano, uh, you know, in layman terms, how do somebody uh, work on those dealing with those feelings and turn it into something positive? Yeah. True. Okay. Thank you for that question. Uh, it is a very important aspect that we need to understand that is, to start with, we are the only one who can actually make or break ourselves. We are the only one, you and I are the only one who actually can start loving self first. You and I can actually make a difference because the center principle is that if I did not be truthful to myself, if I try to hide and try to avoid and try to deny what I have, so then I may not actually get the right answer to my problem or to solve the problem. So here in this case, actually it is not wrong uh, to seek advice, to ask for opinion, for guidance from people around us. Most important is that, again, if you are using your defense mechanism that is very faulty, they call it uh, immature ego defense mechanism. Example, denial, avoidance, uh, projection, say people are the cause, not you. Uh, so those actually will not make you better because then uh, you never see yourself, the true self that you have. So be truthful about yourself. But to get things clear, right? You must have actually to admit your shortcoming, your difficulties. Without that, if you use, uh, if you're an egotistic person, you actually say that you cannot be weak, you cannot be seen actually to be unsuccessful, unsuccessful like other people, you cannot uh, actually uh, believe that you are not perfect. So these are the issues. So what you can do is basically, first and foremost, if you need guidance, you need to, all right, and uh, actually the most uh, possible person are the expert, are the professional, are the one who are trained that who can guide you. Rather than any lay person that you think actually can guide you. Yeah, you can, but they may disappoint you. You may actually have a wrong idea that this person possibly you trust, but unfortunately, not so trustful, uh, so that may happen. So I guess, uh, as you know, Malaysian community, Eastern community, as compared to Western community, I think psychiatry, psychologists, counselors, could actually to to go for them. People have uh, issue of stigma. People believe that you know they cannot be seen to be that naked, having weak in their psychology. Uh, so they, they avoid, uh, as you know, whatever that you are having, if the outcome is maladaptive, if the outcome is not well adapted, if you cannot feel good about yourself, you cannot actually maintain yourself in the environment. So that is called maladaptive outcome. So that means something is wrong with you. 
something is seriously wrong with you. You cannot run away. You cannot avoid. You cannot deny. You cannot say that you have no trouble. Because you know the outcome is never the good, good outcome, the so-called one. For example, one of the adaptive outcome is that people like you, you're at peace, you can move around, you appear to be, you know, uh, settled, calm, cool, of that nature, always in the negative side of your mood, negative in your thoughts, and negative in the behavior, and negative in the results that you're getting. Then something is really wrong. So you must better look for the uh, solution to the problem. So why don't uh, start actually open up to the expert. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have friends and you know that the friend is a trustworthy friend, is a good friend, then why not? Uh, I think most of us actually we have already a well set, a well prepared uh, counselor. That is our parent. Now, since young, our the parent knows about who this the the, the the child is. I think the parent will be able to help better because they have their own certain. Uh, unique and quality that they have, but maybe not to everything that uh, actually we are hoping for. So the parent is actually a very uh, available counselor that we can go through. And then on top of that, our teachers and on top of that, then our friends, our peers, our buddies and whatnot. But I believe if you really want to get a good answer to the problem, I think the professional may be the one who, who can help out. Mm. Uh, so uh, this will be uh, until unless you are emotionally intelligent, you know yourself, you know your weakness, you know your threats. Uh, I think if you cannot come to terms with that, uh, that's when you keep going on doing the same thing, the problem that you have until the day you actually uh, die. So that is quite a wasteful because actually all these are preventable. All these can be manageable and you can be salvageable become a better person. Mm. True, true. Right. Thanks, Prof. Um, I think that's that's a good thing. It's, it's, it's actually very similar or the same thing process goes through with uh, like our clients that, you know, wants to get healthy and get fit uh, because, you know, they, they cannot be fat or I need to lose weight, I'm unhealthy, you know. Yeah. It may seem a very much like just complaint, but rather they should just go to, um, you know, one can seek a professional help like a coach yes. or a trainer or nutritionist or a dietitian, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, so I think that will have a better outcome because there will be like a solution and, um, you know, that person, if you reach out, basically you are looking mm. for an, account an accountable partner as well. So it's actually quite... Um, uh, similar, you know, sort of like a, a SOP or similar procedure that you go through when you approach any professional help. Uh, and uh, what a professional does to you uh, basically is to identify uh, what are the possible uh, challenges and your goals and your targets and be a listener in a very objective way. Uh, like, you know, just being a listener without on a judgment-free zone where uh, they can uh, see how they can help because they are at that level where they can untie certain uh, knots or uh, help you or help that one person to basically uh, look into it and see in a different yeah. angle. Like, okay, here's how you get started. I envision you, let's start yeah. with this. You know, for example, a person yeah. may want to lose 25 or 30 kg, but let's start with five kg first, right? Yeah, so how do you go about it? You know, it's the calories, it's the uh, food intake, it's how you uh, move on with the process and everything. So I assume that's pretty similar, like in a way, uh, in the context where you have a step-by-step, -step, like, you know, yeah. And what and uh, nobody can do anything except yourself because you have to take the yeah. first step. And uh, while as you are doing it, you become better and better yeah. and better. Uh, you improve and you see, ah, this thing doesn't work. Okay, let's try another way. Let's uh, ask if I don't know anything, you know. Uh, if, I, if I so stumble into like a, a hurdle or a, a roadblock uh, or crossroad, uh, where should I go? Let me ask my coach or let me ask my, uh, uh, you know, consultant. Yeah. So it is very important to uh, have that kind of mindset 
if you want to change, we can do it with a, with a little bit of help. It's okay. Uh, but the most important thing, we can feed you all the thing. We can feed you nutrition. We can feed you exercise knowledge. We can feed you everything, motivation. But you yourself have to do it. Always mm -hmm. remember yeah, this, so this phrase, uh, Felicia mm -hmm. and the gang. Always mm -hmm. remember this phrase. Mm -hmm. If there is a problem, there's always a solution. And the best mm -hmm. person who can give the solution is the one who is expert in the problem matters because they have possibly mm -hmm. gone through it. They have more experience and whatnot. So this is where actually sometimes we are we, we don't really can able to see it. But actually sometimes the solution is very simple. It's just changing the technique, changing the approach and whatnot. Because we are not actually yeah. having experience. So obviously we did not see the solution. Uh, so a mm. positive minded person will never say that you can't, you you already lost, you you know, and think you lost the battle kind of a thing. And also remember that actually, you know, uh, to be better, right, uh, you again cannot be alone. As I said, the key word is that you need people around you. And that's how mm. you can um, find a way with people around you, the good groups, the good support, and you can actually get yourself very well. Yeah. Yeah. So I think Who are your support yeah, system? Yeah. Yeah, the support system. Nobody, nobody can actually stay on their own alone. Not all mm. the time. Maybe sometime, but not all the time. As you know, uh, some people are so passionate. I mean, this is another big issue. Some people uh, reach that passion stage, and they actually uh, very engrossed in their passion, and that will be the one. Nobody can actually distract them. Nobody can really push them away from achieving what they want to. Uh, mm -hmm. But most of us, maybe the level of passion is the one that causes trouble. Uh, if the topmost level of passion is 10, maybe we are only quite passionate about 3 out of 10. So obviously, mm -hmm. when things come uh, as a hurdle, we are not able to be resilient enough to go on. So we need to be achieved fully 100% passionate about what we do. I think in anything that we do, that is the issue so yeah mm. so i think i think that's how i look at it uh, what you have said is basically very true uh, so please make a difference in your life because you will never be able to be better if you do not actually make a difference if you do the same yeah. thing you will get the same result yeah i think at the end of the day external factors uh have being happy or being unhappy um, is i think is created by within you. So sometimes we just hope that the external things that will make us happy. If that yeah. thing disappoints us, we don't we are not happy. Yeah. If the person doesn't give you validation or you don't get certain success or you don't get certain uh thing, mm -hmm. uh you know, uh could be a gift, could be flowers, could be money, um, you know, then we have to seriously look into ourselves what makes us happy, what defines us. Uh, and that is entirely the answer is within, but yeah. it, of course it helps where we have um, a more uh, pro, uh, expert kind of uh, opinion uh, and help to actually untie those things sometimes yeah. because we live in a very material world. Uh, yes, uh, uh, the more we have, the more we can give, the more we can do. Uh, the only thing that people need just we need to find that balance. I think everybody mm -hmm. is struggling. I mean, it is a it is a struggle. Everybody's struggling, yeah. uh, but to what to what extent, right? So when you hit the wall, then you have no choice but to uh, realign. Either climb over the wall or you go around the wall. Yeah, or you, you know you're that just you've got stuck. the tools. You've got enough tools. You can either mm -hmm. climb the wall or you can because you cannot hit on with the wall anymore. Yeah. You need to walk around the world. All right. I actually like to use this analogy. It's like a car. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot run with a flat tire, right? You have to change the flat tire. Yeah, so, you can. You yeah. can, but at the end you of the day, you can't go yeah. far. You yeah, go you cannot far. go far. You end up break, uh, you, you end up, uh, the car will be basically on a total uh, breakdown. You cannot move anymore. So yeah, The rim will be yeah, actually no. Benko and, you know, and uh, no more a nice rim. Yeah, yeah. You. You and you cannot, um, you cannot, and you cannot sabotage yourself. Some people will think that, oh, since I already have one flat tire, let me slash the other three tires. So oh, that yeah. one is another level. That yeah, is self-defeating so, uh, behavior. 
Mm. It happens. It happens. I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people are that. Some people having a very negative mind. They uh, they give up easily. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I would like to emphasize on what we call. If you actually read Stephen Covey, it is yeah. this gut principle centered person. Mm. If your principle is based on other people around you, you will be disappointed. Mm. If the principle is with regard to money, you will be disappointed. If the principle is about social status, you will be disappointed. If the principal need agreement by others so that you can leave, you be be disappointed. You, not everybody will see the way you want to see. So that's why you must know your principal. Be a principal centered man or person who knows actually what principal you are doing. But always remember, the most important enemy is not people around you; it is within yourself. Yep. You are the one who make. Or break yourself. I think uh, you must know what principle you are holding on to. Mm. Mm -hmm. How does somebody, uh, let's say, you know, if they figure out like, okay, uh, their principle is really based on external factors. How how does one actually realign and balance back and uh, redefine their principles? Okay, you have to be very clear about you, who you are, what you really want to. Uh, what are all those? I mean, basically the soul and the uh, the heart kind of a thing is very. Uh, mm -hmm. How should I say? Is very uh, precious. It's like what we call the diamond that shine. Unfortunately, if you're not that person who actually shine from within, and that's when actually uh, somehow the diamond that is within you is actually become very muddy, become very. Uh, dark and cover all those shine that you have within yourself so if you mm. want to be a person who is principally centered really clean your your heart your soul your inner self and to do that there are many mm. ways one of the way is spiritual the other way is a psychological the other way is a body that is fit and very you know able to actually be tough and able to face any obstacle uh, so just always shine and, mm. and and you feel good because the aura transmit the aura make other people also shine mm. you smile you're happy you make other people smile and happy you're dark they call it you know the heart that is full of uh, we call it uh, you know thick layer of darkness obviously you you don't feel good about yourself so this is where I say, if you understand your internal motivation, what is your purpose of life? What you really want to do for yourself? What do you really want to achieve? If you have this so-called whatever that your strength is and your weakness is, can you go and run like other people who go for economic stand? Maybe you cannot because you, 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 you are not the same as these people who can do those kind of things. But if you put yourself into this nature, this is what we call, all of us are stuck in this so-called red race in terms of social economic situation. And we don't, we don't want to be red at that nature because it's very tiresome to work day in, day out as though there's no other thing to do. Yeah. And as you said, if you got enough, you got too much money also, you'll be surprised. You don't give to people. You become more and more filthy. You become more and more holding back to your property. You even scare yeah. that people are going to take it away from you. That will come because then greed yeah. will come. Uh, yeah. So that's why you must know the limits. Some people, you know, there are stories in our so-called uh, folklore and even uh, in our so-called uh, uh, teaching. There are people who want to be rich and once they become rich, they lost. They become lost. They do all the nonsense. Mm -hmm. But when they were poor, they want to be rich. But once they become rich, they forgot about what their purpose is. All about. Mm -hmm. and this is where we call mindful, grateful. If you are mm -hmm. not grateful, you are not mindful. Uh, mm -hmm. So here, again and again, I think the key word that mindfulness is all mindful. Yeah. What, you, what you're trying to say is body, mind, spirit um, keeps your uh you know keeps you aligned and yeah, uh, must be aligned in harmony yeah 
And uh, what 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 you were saying that you know if we put ourselves into that, uh, you know, rat race is part, one of it. It's like when somebody makes money, but money doesn't change. Money actually doesn't change a person. Money just makes you of what you are. So yeah. if let's say you are uh, somebody who uh, who likes to gamble, when you have a lot of money, you end up losing all the money uh, from gambling. If you're an alcoholic, uh, you probably buy a lot of alcohol and drink a lot of alcohol. So I think money just makes me you more of you. So it's very important to uh, know who you are, your purpose, your why. So I always yeah. feel that you know the, the bigger the why, the easier the how. And when you stay true to your purpose and your passion in yeah. life, and that's where you become more aligned. So uh, money doesn't uh, money doesn't equal evil. It's what you yeah. are inside. Money just magnifies it because you know material world, right? Mm. Money magnifies it. Yeah, so I think uh, uh, when we are all aligned with the body, mind, and spirit, I think we, when we start to attract good things, when we give people good aura, good energy, those are the little, little signals that actually you're on the right track. So if yeah. you feel that things are not happening for you, you feel that all the bad things happen to you all the time, so it means something is not aligned. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. Just align it and uh, redefine your purpose, your principles perhaps, and then maybe just uh, work on your spiritual side maybe like uh, uh, some people uh, for, for me I found that doing charity and volunteering helps uh, making making friends with different groups of people of different backgrounds uh, yeah those those are the things that really helps me to sure. uh, give me a sense of like you know where I am and uh, yeah it helps some it, it helps me to be grateful and uh, that gives me a different perspective of life so you're, right. you're no yeah. longer just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, previously I was talking about uh, the psychosocial Ericsson stages, mm -hmm. uh, where you know each stages, you have to complete it well, graduate it from it, become a better person to move on to the next stage. And on top of that, we are talking about yeah. actually uh, knowing your purpose of life, every stage that you have a purpose to go for. I think uh, what we have mentioned earlier, uh, all put into perspective now, if you know how to use it very well. Uh, always remember this, when uh, you already achieve your first million, you will have a tendency to go for the 10 million. And that's when you compare yourself with the people who are much more having the million than you are. And you feel miserable because you believe that if somebody mm. stopped you from getting your 10 million, then actually your life is still not settled. Uh, you don't worry about people down there who has less uh, amount of money than you are. But always compared to people who have more, and that's when the principle is very wrong, and you become mm. actually very upset about things. So mm. I think uh, these are human nature, and human mm. nature, you know your vulnerability, and I believe if you know, then you, only then you can overcome it uh, mm. without having the idea of your vulnerability, what makes you actually breaks, what actually can bring you down, pull you down. I guess uh, you will be a person who will go around not knowing what are your threats. Mm. That kind of thing. And the worst threat is actually from your own self, your heart. Yeah. You're your worst enemy. You're your worst enemy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, enemy Hi, Prince Yes, uh, so we have uh, actually done about an, almost an hour now. Um, so mm -hmm. anything to close off? Uh, Coach Francis, uh, Francis is there any questions on, from the floor? Yeah. Yeah, I think the, your sharing is great, Prof. Felicia, a very good uh, uh, so called, uh, 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 what you call, uh, uh, expand on it. So I think I, I also learned a lot today. Yeah. I just wonder uh, some of the area on uh, our emotional uh, EQ and uh, uh, this part. Is there anything that you can come up with uh, short courses? where we can actually get trained yeah. those area. We can I, I, go for that. I, I, I believe that our courses in your set, in your center. Yeah. Uh, we can do these short courses. Yeah. Uh, we can do what, uh, this, this all need to have face to face, I would say. Yeah. So why don't we come up with uh, some kind of a half a day program or actually a full day program from morning till afternoon. Uh, we just offer them in your center in Greentown, and then maybe yeah. Felicia also can offer the set the program in uh, KL. Uh, we can be around. Uh, we can actually get uh, people to be our followers. 
because I think uh, like for me, uh, it's very important to have what we call a psychological center whereby we can do the training again and again. Because now is actually the concept of walk the talk, uh, not just talk the talk. So to walk the talk, they really need to experience, they really need the training and then they need a the coaching. I yeah. think without all those things, we may not actually get it very fruitful, very productive. Great. We can we can offer that in our center now. Yeah. Yeah. Just have this discussion uh, offline. Okay. Yeah. We we'll spend on that. Yeah. We we'll spend on that. Mm. Great. Thanks, uh, Coach Francis. Uh, Nurin, anything that you want to add on? Hi, Nurin. Uh, yeah, Nurin has has, has progressed a, a bit on her health, uh, so maybe she can share a little bit on her journey. That's great. That's great. Mm. Nurin, you can unmute yourself. Oh, sorry. Um, you can unmute yourself, yeah. Just unmute, yeah, and you'll be... Okay. Yeah. Anything, Nurin? Uh, Nurin, uh, actually, as a medical student, I know that he faced a lot of uh, so-called uh, ups and down difficulties as a medical mm. student. Yeah. yeah, Nurin, maybe you can share a little bit on your health journey so far. Uh, you mean today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just this past, uh, I think we spent about two weeks already, right? So your progress so far, and how do you feel? Uh, because we're talking about how to make it, how to make a successful day, and how to be mindful about your, you know, journey, body, mind, spirit, right? So since you know, on the physical health side, you also been working on your uh, health. Uh, so maybe you can share a little bit on how you feel so far on the two weeks program. Uh, um, actually at first it's hard to prepare the meal because you don't have rice cooker so basically we just eat like bread but um, I have plan and tomorrow we will do grocery shopping and um, so maybe next week I can prepare the food better lah. Ah, nice. Mm. And I saw you I exercising as well. Uh -huh. Wow, mm. that's good. Mm. Um, at our house, um, there is swimming pool and also gym. So I always went swimming wow. for like one hour. Very like good, three to good. four times a week. Wow. And sometimes I also uh, mm -hmm. walk on the treadmill. So. I see. Well, what gives you the motivation? For now, mm. what keeps you motivated? Mm. Yeah. Um, um, I saw your previous post on uh, Ustad, he lost 30 kilo, so mm. I was motivated from that post. Mm. Yeah, and then, yeah, great because uh, some from somebody, and he's so so long distance, he's in Trunga. So, you know, uh, and uh, even he actually gained a bit of weight during the whole uh, PKP. Um, so he actually came back to actually lose weight. Uh, so he's like hiking, he's uh, doing his water. He's very, you, you can see his post very consistent, right? Uh, he will be snacking healthy. He will be having, you know, suku suku sparrow lunch. So I think all these things are very important when, you know, this is what we call a group support where you... And him has no connection at all, but because you're in the same group that you see uh, things that other people do successful and it also affects you positively. So it's very important to uh, be in that support system, I feel, uh, rather than doing it alone. Uh, we were just discussing about this just now with Prof, right? So I think that is what is taking effect on you. So see, you are doing your three to four times of swimming, you're trying to do some grocery shopping, so which is great. So you have to applaud yourself and I, I know that you are you are probably um, uh, reduced about two to three kg, so that is a really good achievement. So uh, good <laughs> job, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, three kg, right? So every uh, a thousand a thousand steps or whatever a thousand mile journey became the first step. So uh, definitely, uh, uh, this the whole uh, journey where, where you first take the single step or you start the that journey that is the most important thing because you started right 
you started something and it will become a bit more positive. Nobody is perfect, right? So one week, one week, one week after the other week, you will improve and improve and improve. So I'm really uh, glad to hear that. Um, so I think, yeah, at least something from positive that we can hear. Some, maybe we can start our session next time. Uh, like, what is the one positive thing that happened during the week? So then we can also uh, celebrate and fix kind of thing, you know, like how we can improve or uh, we can also uh, celebrate and applaud each other's achievement and the good things that's happening in our life because that week, because I think gratitude is the first thing that is very important because it's positivity, right? Yeah, so... Uh, I feel that that, that, that that will be a good one. Next session, we will do that. Great. Thank you for sharing, Nuri. All right. So, any last words? I saw uh, Francis got from? a wave just now. Yeah. I, I saw Francis oh, really? a wave, wave just now. Uh, no, he, I don't, he just have... Yeah. Coach Francis? Oh, okay. I think nothing, yeah. Uh, nothing, I'm okay. I'm okay. No okay, yeah. All right. Any okay. last words, Prof, uh, before we end this session? So always remember that uh, every day matters. Uh, every day is important. The present is important because the future will all rely on the present. And every steps that you take in the present will actually bring to the outcome that you really want. And to be successful, you must conclude your day. You must achieve whatever your day is so that you can be better the next day. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say if you go half halfway and you think you want to go for long term, actually uh, what really matters is today. And today can right. be better. Tomorrow can be much, much better. Okay. okay. So we live for today, yeah? Live at the present yeah. moment. All right. So thank you everybody for joining. Um, so I hope this uh, session uh, helped everybody, especially on this call and to those who are going to watch this video later on as well. That yeah. uh, Every day counts, every step counts. As long as we begin the journey, we align ourselves, body, mind, and spirit. Uh, how to make our day a little bit better. 1% improvement every single day. I, I believe that is very important. And uh, thank you so much, Prof, for your uh, sharing. And also to everybody on the call. Um, yeah, thank you. So we'll, thank you. Thank you. So we'll, thank you. We will see everybody next week. Yeah. All right. Take care. Thank you so much, right. everybody. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Have a good day. Yes, tomorrow. Good night. Good night.